All right, here's the instructions for the dice roll simulator. Again, use your chosen second programming language, and we're going to make a program that simulates um, rolling two six-sided dice. If you take two dice, you roll them, see what the result is. Okay, this um, program should have a menu, so you're going to need a loop here where it allows the user to select an option, and then after it executes that option, it'll display the menu again um, so the user can keep choosing different options until they select exit. Okay, so make sure you have that so that loop there where the menu gets repeated, right? Repeatedly display the main menu until the user selects exit. Then every time they select one of the options, you want to do it. So the first option is to roll the dice once. So it'll simply output, hey, you roll the five and a two, the sum is seven. Right, first die five, second die two. Okay. Um, if you choose roll dice five times, it'll just loop five times and say, hey, here's the first roll second roll, third roll, etc. Okay, printing out the information for each roll. Roll dice n times, right? Option three here. You ask the user, how many rolls would you like to do? If they enter 10, you'll loop 10 times and you'll do 10 different rolls. Okay, um, if they entered 500, you do 500 rolls. If they enter two, you do two rolls, whatever the user wants to do. Okay, so get input from the user there. Um, roll dice until snake eyes. Um, snake eyes is considered a result of one on each die, right? So double double ones, where the sum is two. So this, you don't know how long this is going to loop, right? You could get snake eyes on the first one, or it could take you a whole bunch of tries. You don't know. So you're going to do a loop here. Probably a, a while loop is useful on this one. Um, and then you'll have a counter. And then once it reaches that snake eyes, you can stop your loop and then output the results, right? Hey, it took three rolls or however many rolls to get that snake eyes. And then the last option is the exit will we'll stop your menu loop and then it'll stop the program. Okay, right, hopefully that makes sense. Let's do a quick program run here. Uh, welcome to the dice roll simulator. So if I hit one, roll the dice once, it just does roll dice once, six and a three, sum is nine. Cool. If I did option number two, roll dice five times, there it goes, five, five rolls. Okay, roll dice n times, let's say I only wanted to do, let's go seven rolls. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls, there we go. Um, roll dice until snake eyes. Uh, this time, let's scan here, finally we got snake eyes here, 15 rolls. If I did it again, this time it only took me nine rolls. Let's try one more time. <laughs> 97 rolls, right? It just keeps going until it gets snake eyes and counts it. And then exit says goodbye. Oh, I did a typo there. I was supposed to do a slash N so that it would do a new line and then say goodbye. All right, that's the basic idea. So this, this assignment definitely you'll have to use random numbers, right, to generate the, a random integer between one and six for each, each die. And then obviously these loops for the menu and the loops to repeatedly roll the dice. Um, so that's kind of the main focus in this one is using your loops and random numbers. All right, have fun with that.